Digital broadcasting is very popular in the broadcast arena. DVB-D2 provides many benefits to governments, consumers, manufacturers, and broadcasters. One can use same service, achieve the same coverage with just about one tenth of the power now being used with existing standards. In less than two years, there are over 50 countries that have either rolled out or adopted DVB-D2. In ASEAN, member states agreed to switch over from analog to digital broadcasting by 2020. Singapore's seven free-to-air channels went fully digital by the end of 2013, powered by DVB-D2. Thailand's digital switchover began within four years, affecting 20 million households in 2012, 80% in major cities over the next five years. In Myanmar, National Digital Broadcasting Committee approved DVB-D2 as the National Digital Terrestrial Broadcasting Standard on 2 October 2008 and preparing for a full digital transition by 2020. The process is explained at the press held at the Ministry of Information yesterday. We are going to launch the digitalization on five phases. During the first phases, we start broadcasting, uh, we start four areas. These are Nebido, Yango, Sakai, and uh, Takong. But they should have DVD2 set of box. Uh, during the first phase, we are going to provide uh, set of box free of charge, free set of box altogether 300,499 and 44 sets to the uh, society, community based organizations just like uh, hospitals and the university, and the schools, MI, Numa International, and then Numa Radio Television in Numa Language, and then Pharma Channel, Idulato Channel, and National Research Channel. These all are the five digital TV channels. We start broadcasting on 15 October 2013.